Hey, this is Kiva from Twisted Tree Farm, and I'm talking about how to identify American elm in the winter. There's uh, several elms that live in our li are, uh, live in the north northern United States. Um, there's American elm, there's slippery elm, and then there's the uh, Siberian elm, and they all have uh, really different bark. The American elm, is super squishy bark. If you if you find yourself next to one, you push on it, it's like it's almost like styrofoam. And you can break sections of it off pretty easy. And then if you crack them in half and you look at that cross section, this is American elm, by the way. Um, if you look at that cross section, it's like a, it's like an ice cream sandwich. I don't know how well. Yeah, there you go. You can see there's like layers of white and brown, layers of white and brown, and it's it's squishy. I mean, you can just squeeze it right down. It's like there's nothing that feels like that in nature that I've found. It's it's like a piece of styrofoam. Um, so the bark is one way. And the bark is going to be uh, more dramatic the older trees get. You know, these trees aren't that old. They're, they're probably 20, 25 years old or so. Um, this is a little growth of American elms. And then uh, the buds is another way. And this might be a little tough for the camera to focus, but American elm buds, all elm buds, they're kind of... I'll put the, the bud right, right above my fingernail. Um, oh, look at that. There we go. See how it's like, it's tilted to the side. They're always like a little bit canted off to the side. And you can see the leaf scar. If you, what you want to do, if you're really studying tree ID, and you learn what a tree is, you, you figure out, okay, that's American elm right there. And then you take a twig. And what you want to do is you want to bring that twig in with you. You want to, you want to take a little sample with you, and you want to draw it, and really look at it, and draw all the scales on the buds and stuff. Um, because there's so much detail in there and once you start to focus in on that detail It'll be amazing what it does to your brain. You'll start to really remember it um, But uh, the thing about the About drawing it is that you're not Drawing it by copying it you want to draw it from memory So what you'll do is you'll look at a bud or a leaf or whatever you're trying to learn and you look at it And you put it away and then you try to draw it from memory and then and then you'll start to quickly recognize the gaps in your memory of what you don't recognize. And uh, so you just try to draw it from memory a few times. It, it'll, it'll change. It doesn't matter if you're good at drawing or not. You're just trying to get the basic idea. The other thing about elms is uh, I just went to break off this branch and look at, the, look at the tail. So they have really stringy bark. It's a very strong cordage. You could, you could just strip that bark and, and it's almost like having a piece of rope. Um, so there's a lot of other things I can say about American elms. They're gonna, they're gonna often make like a Y. I don't know how well. Yeah, you'll be able to see. So, see how it makes a Y. It's like a big Y. They do that almost every single time. Um, they they make these Ys with their with their canopies. Um, these are young trees. They're 25, about 25 years old, I think. And what will happen is. Um, you know, they'll get to a certain age and then they'll get Dutch elm disease. Uh, usually they get, in my region, they get to about 40, 40 or 50 years old and then they'll succumb. But every once in a while there's resistant ones. Look at the root flare. That's another thing you can really notice. It's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, American elm is not a hard tree to identify. It's very, very common. A lot of times people find out that they have an elm nearby and they just get so excited and... Uh, they think it's special, but they're actually all over. They grow along creeks, mostly. Um, they don't grow in deep woods very often unless there's some sunlight there. But uh, generally, like, wet areas is where you're going to find them. Alongside creeks, wet meadows, especially wet meadows. Um, Almus Americana, really fantastic, useful tree for so many reasons. Great for wildlife. The... Uh, there's so much more I could say about it, but mostly I just wanted to talk about how to identify them and how they're all around here. All right. Thank you.